Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Also download our free Android app FinCalci to calculate income taxes and track on monthly basis. What's up guys? Welcome to another video in which we are going to see how to calculate income tax for the financial year of 2020 to 21 with the help of examples. We will also see the new tax lab rates that were introduced in budget 2020. So stay with me till the end of this video to check the examples and see how you can calculate your income tax for the financial year of 2020 to 21. There were new tax lab rates that were introduced in budget 2020 which are no income tax on income between rupees 0 to rupees 2.5 lakhs, 5% tax on income between rupees 2.5 lakhs to rupees 5 lakhs, 10% tax on income between rupees 5 lakhs to rupees 7.5 lakhs, 15% tax on income between rupees 7.5 lakhs to rupees 10 lakhs, 20% tax on income between rupees 10 lakhs to 12.5 lakhs, 25% tax on income between rupees 12.5 lakhs to 15 lakhs, 30% tax on income above rupees 15 lakhs. These were the reduced tax lab rates compared to old tax lab rates, which are still applicable. Our old tax lab rates are no income tax on income between rupees 0 to rupees 2.5 lakhs, 5% tax on income between rupees 2.5 lakhs to rupees 5 lakhs, 20% tax on income between rupees 5 lakhs to rupees 10 lakhs, and 30% tax on income above rupees 10 lakhs. So, as you can see, the new tax lab rates are reduced tax lab rates compared to old tax lab rates. You have the option of choosing which tax lab rates you want to use to calculate your income tax. But there is a condition. If you want to use new reduced tax lab rates, you will not have the option of claiming deductions under various sections that would help you to reduce your total income tax. This means if you want to use the reduced tax lab rates, you cannot claim deduction under section 80C that includes investments in provident fund, public provident fund, equity link saving schemes, life insurance premiums, and other schemes that fall in this category. Along with this section, you will not have the option of claiming deductions under other sections as well. But the same deductions can be claimed if you are using old tax lab rates, which are higher compared to new tax lab rates. Another important point to note is, if your taxable income is below Rs 5 lakhs, you need not have to pay any income tax. This is possible because of tax rebate under section 87A. Let us now understand these points with the help of examples. Let's say your income from salary is Rs 6 lakhs. Your income from other sources is Rs 15,000. This makes your gross total income as Rs 6 lakhs 15,000. Let's say your investments include Rs 60,000 under section 80C, Rs 10,000 under section 80D, and Rs 5,000 under section 80 TTA. This makes your total investments as Rs 75,000. So your net taxable income becomes equal to Rs 6,15,000 minus Rs 75,000, which is equal to Rs 5,40,000. These deductions are applicable only if you are using old tax lab rates. Your net taxable income when considering new tax lab rates remains Rs 6,15,000 as no deductions are applied on your total income. Now to calculate your income tax, if you are an employee or a pensioner, you get a standard deduction of Rs 50,000 only if you are using old tax lab rates. Standard deduction will not be applied if you are using new tax lab rates based on the condition we have seen at the start of the video. So your net taxable income becomes equal to Rs 4,90,000 if you are using old tax lab rates, but it remains as Rs 6,15,000 based on new tax lab rates. Let us now see the tax calculation process using old tax lab rates for which taxable income is Rs 4,90,000. No tax on income between Rs 0 to Rs 2.5 lakhs, 5% tax on income between Rs 2.5 lakhs to Rs 4,90,000, which is equal to Rs 12,000. 20% and 30% tax labs will not be applicable in this example. As we know, when taxable income is below Rs 5 lakhs, we get a maximum tax rebate of Rs 12,500 under Section 87A. Hence, in this example, the income tax of Rs 12,000 is cancelled by the tax rebate of Rs 12,500, thus making your effective income tax as Rs 0. For new tax lab rates, for which taxable income is Rs 6 lakhs 15,000, no income tax on income from Rs 0 to Rs 2.5 lakhs, 5% tax will be applicable on income between Rs 2.5 lakhs to Rs 5 lakhs, 
which is equal to rupees 12500 10% tax will be applicable on income between 5 lakhs to rupees 6 lakhs 15000 which is equal to rupees 11500 other tax laps will not be applicable in this example 4% says will be applicable on this income tax which is equal to rupees 960 which makes a total income tax as rupees 24960 So you pay an income tax of rupees twenty four thousand nine sixty based on new tax lab rates. Hence, you pay no income tax on income of rupees six lakh fifteen thousand and given deductions after using old tax lab rates compared to new tax lab rates. You must be thinking how the higher tax lab rates is making you pay no income tax compared to new reduced tax lab rates. It's only because the deductions are not applicable on new reduced tax lab rates, which makes it difficult to reduce your income tax. From this example, we have seen that we should try to get our net taxable income to below rupees five lakhs to pay zero income tax, irrespective of whether we are using old or new tax lab rates. It is very much possible to do this if we are using old tax lab rates along with various investment options. Let us now see another example without any deductions. Let's say your income from salary is rupees six lakhs fifteen thousand, and in this example, we will not take any investments or deductions. In case you are not an employee or a pensioner, you will not get standard deduction of rupees fifty thousand. So in this case, your net taxable income will be equal to six lakhs fifteen thousand for both old and new tax lab rates. Now let us calculate income tax based on old tax lab rates. No tax on income between rupees zero to rupees two point five lakhs. Five percent tax on income between rupees two point five lakhs to rupees five lakhs, which is equal to rupees twelve thousand five hundred. 20% tax on income between rupees 5 lakhs to rupees 6 lakhs 15000 which is equal to rupees 23000 4% tax will be applicable on total income tax which is rupees 1420 which makes a total income tax equal to rupees 36920 let us now calculate income tax based on new tax lab rates no income tax on income between rupees 0 to 2.5 lakhs 5% tax on income between rupees 2.5 lakhs to rupees 5 lakhs Which is equal to rupees twelve thousand five hundred. Ten percent tax on income between rupees five lakhs to rupees six lakhs fifteen thousand, which is equal to rupees eleven thousand five hundred. Four percent tax will be applicable on total income tax, which is rupees nine hundred and sixty, which makes your total income tax equal to rupees twenty four thousand nine sixty. As you can see, we pay rupees eleven thousand nine sixty less income tax using new tax lab rates compared to old tax lab rates. This is how we will be calculating our income tax in financial year 2020 to 21. The question about which income tax lab rates to choose completely depends on your income and your investment strategy. If you don't make use of deductions available to you, you should go with new income tax lab rates. But if you make investments and claim deductions, you should see if you will have to pay less income tax based on new or old tax lab rates and choose accordingly. In case you are confused, you can also download my free Android app in Kelsey to calculate your income tax and see which tax labs will be better for you. The link to download the app is in the description section. That's it in this video. If this video has helped you in any way, please hit the like button and share it with others as well. In case you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon to get all the latest updates. Comment in the comment section below in case you have any queries. Stay tuned.